It's day four of week 11. Welcome guys, my name is Auntie Rashida and I'm so very happy to be sharing with you guys in your kids' daily devotion. Our scripture reading for today is Deuteronomy 4 verses 1 to 2 and our memory verse will be Deuteronomy 4 verse 7. From King James Version, our scripture reading is Deuteronomy 4 verses 1 to 2. Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them, that he may live, and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. Ye shall not add unto the world which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. While well, the New International Version reads, Deuteronomy 4, 1-2. Now Israel, hear the decrees and laws I am about to teach you. Follow them so that you may live and may go in and take possession of the land the Lord God of your ancestors is giving you. Do not add to what I command you, and do not subtract from it, but keep the commands of the Lord your God that I give to you. The words of the Lord, thanks be to God. No, God wanted the Israelites to obey all the commandments. Remember, the Israelites are his chosen people. Moses' duty was to remind them of all those laws. Moses also explained to them that disobedience leads to destruction. Mm, have you heard, ever heard that saying, disobedience leads to destruction? Let's look into it this way. Have your parents ever told you to do something and you disobeyed? You got punished, right? Maybe yes, maybe no, maybe sometimes. But guess what? The best thing is to be obedient, right? There's a song that says obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. The Israelites had to obey the commandment to show their belief in God. Now, let us apply what we have learned today from this passage to our own lives. It is good to be obedient to our parents and also to God. Just as how the Israelites try their best to obey all God's commandments. This is how we should obey God also. It is very important. When we obey God, there is a reward for us all obey all commandments and you will be rewarded for your activities today i want you to make a little point write it in your journals write a little point talking about god's commandments and also write your memory verse in your journals okay before we go let us just say this little prayer together heavenly father Thank you for giving us instructions to follow. Please help me to follow your instructions. Amen. Okay, guys, it was great sharing with you today. I hope you had fun. And remember to be obedient. Obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. Love you all. Now it's time for our memory verse. The verse is taken from... Deuteronomy 4 verse 7 For what nation is there so great, who had God so nigh unto them, as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for? Now for the NIRV version, Deuteronomy 4, 7. The Lord our God is near us every time we pray to him. What other nation is great enough to have its gods that close to them? Deuteronomy 4, 7. This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. Amen.